of animals. One more time! Got her!
Dead.
New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Avalis Day. After many years, the restoration of Bakunawa is almost complete. Just in time for the anniversary of our landing on this planet. Avalis Day. Thinking about how far we've come makes me so proud to be an Earth Dragon. When we first crash landed here, the natives didn't even have a name for this planet, much less the tools and technology to properly explore and utilize its resources. Now look at us. We have proper cities alight with modern conveniences, medicines and technological advancements for all. We've even put those ocean dwellers to work on Bakunawa, lifting them out of their primitive tribal ways. Avalis Day will be a grand celebration. End entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Bakunawa Rising. Bakunawa is now undergoing a full evaluation of the ship's systems. We are weeks away from having a fully functional spacecraft again. This is so exciting. However, I'm sad to report that not everyone shares in that excitement. There have been rumblings of dissatisfaction from the laborers working on Bakunawa's restoration, complaining about long hours and dangerous conditions. I think it's just a bunch of backtalk from some people who've had it too good for too long. My maid Perlis agrees and she's one of them. Fortunately, she's one of the good ones. Spirits know some of these ocean dwellers need to learn their place. Subject, Bakunawa abandoned. Something went wrong. We think it was an accident. I really don't know what to believe right now. The Bakunawa restoration project has been shut down. The ocean dwellers are angry. All of them. Perlis is gone, and so have all our other ocean dweller servants. When I asked Father where they went, he insisted that they'd taken time off to celebrate some kind of holiday. He wouldn't look at me when he told me that. When I asked about what happened with Bakunawa, he told me to mind my own business, still refusing to look at me. I think we've done something truly terrible today. End of dream. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the Ocean Dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together, after all. End entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, trapped. My Ocean Dweller hosts have decided that, as the Magister's daughter, I would be more useful to them as a hostage. Marvelous. The nature of my imprisonment was discussed in a meeting between the Ocean Dweller's elders and I, by which I mean, I was present while a bunch of old men talked about me as if I wasn't there. It was several minutes before I realized what I'd assumed was a statue was actually another living being. But I knew who it had to be. The Ocean Dweller's champion. She was tall, dark, imposing, and she was staring directly at me the entire time. It was unsettling. Oh, Cordelia, what have you gotten yourself into? End of dream. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, her name is Murga. Well, I know the champion's name, Murga. She told me, after telling me that if I was planning any Earth Dragon shenanigans, she'd take my head clean off. Apparently, the champion had the impression that my people were all schemers and liars. 
She based this on a sampling of everyone she had ever killed. Charming. Champion or not, I was not about to be intimidated. So I told her that if my people were as she generalized, then hers must be equally psychologically homogenous, meaning they were all as stupid as her. That earned me a glare before she stormed off. <laughs> I win. Such a child. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Attack of the Showpow Hog. I decided to take a wander to the markets for some fresh Showpow for my favorite stall. And who should be there ahead of me? The champion, of course. Apparently, my favorite stall was hers, too. And of course, she had to have it all. She needs all the energy she can get. Oh, but she can spare just one Showpow. So she picks one out of her bag and lays it on top of my head. Then, with the biggest smirk on her face, she stalked off, and the market crowd parted for her in a frightened scurry. Ugh! That woman! End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject? No place for a hero. There was an attack by Earth Dragon forces on the beach today. The champion swooped in and simply destroyed the troops. It was ruthlessly efficient. Unfortunately, an Ocean Dweller child had been caught in the middle of the battle, and his cries summoned nearby adults, and they just... stared. They saw the... Be right back, I gotta make a soul for my hug right quick.
had to help my aunt out because she had to this place up so I had to make two trips to the store because the one store would close at so early and then oh boy. yeah luckily the car wasn't so bad so yeah all right, better quality than myself. Now some more story. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, no place for a hero. There was an attack by Earth Dragon forces on the beach today. The champions swooped in and simply destroyed the troops. It was ruthlessly efficient. Unfortunately, an Ocean Dweller child had been caught in the middle of the battle, and his cries summoned nearby adults, and they just... stared. They saw the child in pain, but refused to come any closer. The champion tried to comfort the child, but that only seemed to make his crying worse. Eventually, she left, and the adults rushed in. As the champion turned away, I could see the expressions of relief wash over their faces. Entry, Cordelia, personal, subject, Revenge of the Shopow. The champion was injured today, so despite her appearance, she isn't invincible after all. I stopped by the medical center as she was healing up. She was surprised to see me, and I said the feeling was mutual. Then I offered her a Shopow. One Shopow. Out of a basket filled with Shopow that I was lugging around for emphasis. I have never seen a flatter stare. She took it anyway and mumbled something that sounded halfway between a thanks and a curse. I was happy to reciprocate with my own charming banter, and she could do nothing but glare at me from her bed. It was a fun afternoon. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Flowers for Murga. Unexpectedly, the champion has an interest in flowers. I was wearing a small white flower with a delightful scent in my hair, when Murga identified it as a Sampagita. It turns out that amongst the many things Murga was taught, horticulture had somehow been snuck in there as well. When I asked if she knew the name of more than one flower, she took immediate offense and dragged me to the nearest garden. She then started listing the names of the flowers there and their uses. I didn't have the heart to interrupt her. I've never seen her as happy as she was today. I like seeing her happy. End entry. entry, Cordelia, personal, subject, or fight. I tried broaching the subject of peace to Murga again tonight. She wasn't happy to talk about it and tried to distract me. I pointed out that if she and I could get along, why couldn't our people as well? And she said it was impossible, that I was one of the good ones. I stormed out. I was rather furious at that point, mostly at myself. I know what being on this side of that comparison feels like. Stupid Cordelia. Marga found me later with some freshly picked moonflowers in hand and an apology. <laughs> she knew exactly what to do and say. Got me wrapped around her fingers. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. A war of attrition. Murga got hurt again. She tried to hide it from me, act as if it were a, a scratch. But I can tell from the way she carries herself that moving about was more difficult than usual. I suggested relaxing on the beach and watching the sunset, and she agreed immediately. She knows I know. I can see she's tired. This war has taken its toll on all of us. 
but most especially on Marga. She can't keep going like this. I have to convince our leaders that this isn't the only way. End entry. Entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, in pursuit of peace. I've done it! I've convinced the elders of the Water Dragon Council to meet with the Magister in Shangtu, my old home. I think both sides expect some kind of duplicity, but I'm not worried. Murga will be with us to provide protection. If anything were to happen to us, she would cut through the country's troops like a hot knife through butter. And I think everyone is well aware of that. I have to go now. The caravan is leaving. Whatever happens next, I hope to free Murga of her role as the Ocean Dweller's champion. It won't be an easy road, but nothing worth doing is. End entry. Three years have passed since the invasion that almost destroyed our world of Avalis. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, I plan to steal the Kingdom Stone, source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our alien attackers. But the scars of war remain. The Kingdom Stone has been shattered, its fragments scattered into the very air around us. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still, striking us at our most vulnerable leaving us in a perpetual state of turmoil. The world of Avalis needs hope, but more than that, it needs heroes.
Murka! You should have run. Let there be no more. <laughs> Your suffering will be a masterpiece. Blue Moon!
not over yet! this? Is this what she would have wanted for you? Syntax! I thought we blasted her off the ship along with Serpentine! Code Black, version 2 initiated. Termination protocols initiated. Mode harvesting to commence as scheduled. Something's coming this way! How many times are we gonna have to save the moon before it stays saved? Keep up your spirits, Wildcat. Let us put a stop to this. Go. I won't resist. I have much to think about. Well, <laughs> this is new. So, getting all the better. Trophy time capsule was worth was worth it after all. But holy smokes, I was not suspecting this. Oh, no new final stage.
Thanks for the uh, raid. Wait, you came high here? What the fuck, game? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> that that wolf pack. <laughs> If I can actually beat this game, that is because I do not <laughs> first time playing this, but I do not like it. I do not like it at all.
creature is regenerating faster than we can damage it. We need to overload the system! Hit it as hard as you can! That works! Murga? I started this. It's only right that I end it as well. All right, girls! Let's finish this! Oh no! It's a call back to fucking Berman? No, 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 keep him in the box. Cyclone! Get that bastard back in the box. We don't need to see him. Started this. It's only right that I end it as well. All right, girls, let's finish this. Oh, that's us, Koopo. Come <laughs> on. 
structure is regenerating faster than we can damage it. We need to overload the system! Hit it as hard as you can! That worked! Murga? I started this. It's only right that I end it as well. Alright, girls! Let's finish this! Central Command Core. Offline. Engines. Offline. Escape parts. Offline. Distress beacon. Active. I need to carry the man. Five minutes. We have to leave. It's not safe here. I'm going ahead to get Corey. Good luck! Be careful! Murga! Move! There's no point. Leave me. No! Come with us! We'll find a point! Just don't- ah! Lilac! No! Hold on! I've got you! Oh, is that what happened? By the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Makanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us. Is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated.
Where... Shang Tu? Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. <coughs> However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. You will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence, to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you'd better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side. I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bacchanal's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? She's still out there, alone.
that you'll hear these words somehow, because it will mean that you've been freed from your crystal prison. I know that this isn't all we'd hoped for, and I'm so sorry. What happened to the water dragons was a travesty, and the passage of time has not been kind to their memory. I wish I could be there with you right now. We had so much ahead of us. But I hope that no matter what happens, you'll find your own happiness. And who knows, perhaps we'll even be together again. Someday. But for now, my work isn't over. Not yet. End entry. Well, yeah, surprise, surprise, we got a single hook. <laughs> We're not offended to see that.